Well, I talk about a real estate deal. Thanks to a little known law in Texas, a man apparently won ownership of a home for less than 20 bucks. However, his neighbors aren't real happy about the deal. They're trying to get him out. Casey Norton has the story. Flower Mound's Waterford Drive is lined with well manicured $300,000 homes. So when a new neighbor moved in without the usual sale, mortgage paying homeowners had a few questions. What paperwork is it and how is it legally binding if he doesn't legally own the house? He just squats there. Lee Lowry and her husband told me the house down the street was in foreclosure for more than a year. The owner walked away, then the mortgage company went out of business. Apparently, that opened the door for someone to take advantage of the situation. <laughs> Kenneth Robinson told us he's no squatter. He says he moved in on June 17th after months of research about a Texas law called adverse possession. This is uh, not a normal process, uh, but it's not a process that's not known. It's just not known to everybody. Robinson says this piece of paper gives him rights to the house. It's an online form he printed out and filed at the Denton County Courthouse for $16. It says the house was abandoned and he's claiming ownership. I went through, looked at it, and added some things here, you know what I mean, for my own protection. The house is virtually empty, just a few pieces of furniture, no running water or electricity. But Robinson says just by setting up camp in the living room, Texas law gives him exclusive negotiating rights with the original owner. If the owner wants him out, he would have to pay off his massive mortgage debt, and the bank would have to file a complicated lawsuit. Robinson believes neither is likely. So if he stays in the house, after three years, he can ask the court for the title. That's your goal eventually, is to have title of this home, to be Absolutely. the owner of this home? Absolutely. And, uh, On a record. You know what I mean? At this point, you know, since I possess it, I am the owner of the home. Robinson posted no trespassing signs after neighbors asked police to arrest him for breaking in. But Flower Mound officers say they can't remove him from the property because home ownership is a civil matter, not criminal. Lowry and her neighbors continue to look for legal ways to get him out. Or if he wants the house, buy the house like everyone else had to. Get the money, buy the house. Robinson says he's not buying anything. As far as he's concerned, the $330,000 home is already his. And he has the paperwork to prove it. Casey Norton, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.